All right, CAD fans, so in this video we're going to do some materials and rendering work in the Mac environment. Uh, one of the first things I did is to right click, and pick preferences, and change my look and feel to a light colored theme and I made the icons a little bigger. So that's why it may look a little different than what's on your screen. I also noticed that down here there's a little button in the far right hand corner that brings up a whole bunch of 3D tools including the 3D orbit so you can just left click and rotate your model around to look at it and I'll shut that back off and just hit the escape a couple of times it's a command it also has the 3D snaps the gizmo which just popped off the screen but you'll be able to try that and see it uh, and what else a lot of the lighting and stuff that goes along with with rendering. So then the other thing we want to look at is the rendering tools in this menu. Make sure that you're in the modeling group up here and scroll down and keep scrolling down until you get down to the teapot. That's the render item and there's the materials item. So let's take a look at the materials item first. Uh, that brings up the material browser where you can pick the materials and apply them to the the model first we better switch from conceptual to realistic just left clicking through there and if we wanted to we could just see how that rendered hit the render button and this is how it renders if you don't apply any materials close the material browser for a sec not too fancy huh so let's go and apply some materials to this. Say we want to make the towers into concrete, cast in place concrete, or well, maybe exposed aggregate. So I double click on that. It shows up up here. I click on that object. And as I left click around, it applies them to it. So I'm applying the concrete material to all those material. I think I just hit the, uh, the rotate tool there, which I didn't really want to do. See if we can spin it back around. And I just use this. There, so I can see it again. So anyway, why don't we put some painted steel? Maybe we'll make the ridge cables this flaked satin blue so now that I've selected it here everything I cl cl click on will turn satin blue of course it's going to take me a little while to get all these cables and stuff and I know it's pretty hard to see so why don't we take a break and I'll apply these materials and be back in a minute so what I've been doing is shutting off the other layers and doing them all at once that way. I'll show you how to do that with the girders here. But I've got the deck and girders in the same layer. So what I want to do is switch that. I made a new layer called bridge deck. So I just clicked on the deck once and then changed it in the layer view up here. And then we're all set with that. I can make that my default then, or my active layer. And we'll put the material on it. Maybe I'll just use regular old concrete. Select it. There it goes. Now, if I'd messed up and I didn't really want something in that, you just click the global and it'll turn it back off. Okay. So I'll make sure I get this in the right order. I got that as concrete. And then what I did for the hanger cables and stuff as I just shut everything off and go ahead and turn that off and we'll shut off the towers and then we can look at this whole thing from the left for example and apply it if I can move this material browser just a little bit I can select them all and apply, let's see, I want to do a steel for that one. So, how about 
metallic paint green. We'll have green ones there. There they go. And even though they've disappeared here, I think they are here. So let's turn the layers back on so we can see the whole thing. And zoom in a little bit. Yeah, they're there. They're just a dark green, so that's okay. Switch it to an isometric if I can get my mouse to work here. And so there it is. Let's try rendering it like that. See what it comes out like. Well, it's getting a little bit better. And then we can mess around with this a little more. My render window disappeared. I'm not sure where it is. If we look over here someplace. No, that's not it. That's the environment. Thought the rendering thing was here somewhere. Well, anyways, close the material browser. It'll come up here in a second. We can turn the sky on, make it a little bit lighter, and maybe put the sun on. We'll do the default there, see what happens. Try rendering it again. Okay. You can also save these renders as a JPEG. So it'll just be a regular old picture. I won't do that just yet. I'm going to keep playing with it. We can basically do any view. So if we zoom in a little more and render that, it shows it a little more detail. You see the shadows from the sun. It works out kind of nice. On the PC side, there were some more rendering options that I can't seem to find on the Mac, but when you save it, let's say we're going to say this is a test run, as a say a JPEG, you can pick the quality that you want it to produce. So that essentially, I think, is the different quality levels that you can do. Uh, the other thing I was trying to find is the ability to put an image in the background when you render it, and I haven't been too successful. Although, I do have uh, another scheme here to put an image in the background. Let's spin this around just a little bit. Like that. And there is a command. Escape to get out of my 3D orbit image attach and then we can look at let's put in the Hoover Dam for example we're going to build a new bridge across the Hoover Dam like they recently did and we'll just hit OK and see how this goes I think I probably should have set my X1 no, it doesn't look too bad for the view so let's zoom out a little bit more and see what we can do so I just select one scale factor. Come on. That's a little odd looking, isn't it? So I think it did something. It doesn't look very oh there it is. I see it now. There is the Hoover Dam picture. I just wanted it a lot bigger. Alright, so after that phone call, I've managed to move it around a little bit left click on that grip make it a little bigger so there's the wonderful Hoover Dam with the bridge that's under construction actually it's about done now they've dedicated it but picture from when it was the only trouble I've got now is that it's in front of the bridge I drew so let's see if we can move it switch around a top view and then I think I better do the UCS and arrange that so that it is view so I can move this and then do the move select that that is the picture base point say there move it back so it's on the other side of the bridge and then let's see if we can flip this thing around ah, there we go so now you see my artistic representation of the new bridge going across the Hoover Dam we can render that and it doesn't look the greatest on the screen, but you get the idea. 
I think that's all for now.